The last time I spoke to you was a mission uh, red carpet in Paris. You told an amazing story about riding the Metro with a girl noticing you. I just want to say thank you for that story because it went everywhere. But for today, there are a ton of people that have never, that are young kids that have actually never seen any of your movies. What is the movie that you would like them to start with and why? Dead Reckoning part one. That's what we're here for today. I mean, here we are in Rome. They could start with this film to see and understand that this is all real. All the action's real, it's practical. This movie is an epic adventure. It's, it's so lush, you know, filled with practical action and amazing locations. And it's, it has all the things that I love in movies, submarines, it has the desert, it has, you know, Rome, beautiful locations in Abu Dhabi, Norway, a train that we built, you know, action on the train and a very engrossing story with with really a beautiful cast, an amazing, very charismatic cast. And I think when you look at this movie, it really defines, you know, what I think about cinema and why, you know, because you look at this kind of cast, you look at a brilliant ensemble cast, and the kind of story is very engrossing. Uh, I will tell you, I've seen it. It's the fastest two hours and 30 minutes of the year. Uh, I, I love this movie so much. Uh, you have done amazing stunts over the through your career. And I'm just curious, what do you view like the top five or top 10 of the most, the difficulty of what you've done in terms of the nervousness of the people around you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't gauge their nervousness. I, well, then, the, I don't, I don't know. I. You know, I know I've done some wild things. Uh, I know I've done some wild things. I think you probably have a better better way to look at it than I am because I'm so inside of it, sure. you know, and I'm doing it. And I just know, you know, what we try to do with these films and actually all of my movies. I, you know, I, I remember as, a, as an audience member, which I am first and foremost, and I make my, as a filmmaker, I make my movies for audiences, but I always, I wanted, I like a wide range of cinema. And so I've always wanted to challenge myself in a wide range of genres and styles to understand each one. And I'd go into it and then study each one as I was making it and test my abilities in that. So, and I try to take everything that I've learned my entire career and put it in the next movie, and put it in the next movie, and put it in the next movie, just in terms of structure, storytelling, character development, as a producer in terms of how I produce a film, how I can better prepare my cast, my crew for for the adventure that we're all embarking on. So that that is the things that I think about, and I'm constantly challenging myself. I'm both I'm both a student every single day. I'm constantly studying, and also a teacher because I'm constantly having to kind of work with people to go. This is movies for me, and for us, and 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 also bring their voices into our film. My last thing for you, I love IMAX, it's my favorite format. Maybe can you talk just a touch on why you should see this in IMAX? I think you should see it in any major format, any big format. You know, you we have, we have IMAX, we have Dolby Vision, you know, you've got Dolby and Dolby Vision, which is, you know, all of these, all of these tools that we have, you know, you have Screen X, there's, and we're, we're actually working on that version of the film right now, and it depends on what kind of experience they want with the cinema. We, this is made for the big screen experience. It is, the mix is made for that. And we spend a lot of time in every format to ensure that it is, that it, it is as, it, it, we're using every tool in the toolbox to give that experience and immersive experience for the audience. Sir, thank you so much. For real, man, the movie's incredible. Oh.